Hello everyone! Boy do I have a treat for you. Today we're going to be looking at a game I played a few weeks ago against my friend Nicholas. In this game I was actually blindfolded and he was not. He is about 100 rated on chess.com. He's not that bad but usually my regular games with him I have a 99.99% win rate. But this game I was obviously blindfolded. So let's see how this goes. I had the white pieces this game. I decided to start the game off with the classic move e4. He responded with e5, and then I played a dubious move here, king e2. Obviously trolling a little bit, but after the match is done, like looking back on this game, I should have probably played d4, um, d4, d5, c c4, queen's gambit, which is the opening I'm most familiar with. But I decided to play the Bond Cloud against Nicholas. Um, he plays knight, knight c6. Apparently he was supposed to play knight f6. I don't really see a difference. And Stockfish is just tri tripping when they say knight f6 is best. Because it doesn't even really matter. Um, king e1, moving my king back. He plays knight f6. Now, d5 was better here. But I played the best move, knight c3. Keep in mind, I am blindfolded. This is the first ever game of blindfold chess I have ever played in my life. And, you know, I've tried to play... I've tr I try to keep track. He played d6 here. But, now that's a mistake. As I was saying, I try to keep track of, like, the positions in my head. Um, like, I can visualize pretty well. But I've never played a blindfold game. So this was really an experiment to see how well I could do. But back to the game. Bishop c4 is apparently a miss. I was supposed to play knight f3 here. He plays knight f5, another miss. He was supposed to take the free juicer on e4. But knight a5, taking the bishop, I go bishop b3. Obviously mis an inaccuracy, not a mistake, but I could have defended the free pawn. Now after I take, take, and this pawn's just... Well, it's not hanging, actually. What am I smoking? Wait, why is this a miss? Because this is just hanging. Here, if he... Wait. If he goes here, I take back. What happens? What does he play? Knight takes e4? And then, oh, he has a fork. Okay. I'm smoking something. I don't know. I didn't see that. Okay. Knight a5. Bishop b3. Uh, an inaccurate move. I t he takes. I take back with the a pawn. Best move. Okay. Bishop g4. Mistake. Knight f3 blocking the attack of my queen. I'm surprised I even saw this. In my mind, I did, I did notice that this was attacking my queen. So I played knight f3 to block the attack. Knight h5 is a mistake. He was supposed to push d5 again for some reason. Just break up in the center. Takes, 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 takes. But he did not play that. Knight h5 was played. I kick out the bishop, which is what I would have actually probably done in a real game if I wasn't blindfolded. But yeah, he did, he should have taken. If I were him, I definitely would have taken because I'm I'm blindfolded. Um, so he definitely has a big advantage. And if he just trades everything, I'll probably lose track of where my pieces are. So, e either way, he plays bishop d7. I go for g4, kick out the knight. Pretty solid move, makes sense. Knight f4, he plays the best move. Getting a nice, uh, I think it's called a bastion, because I can't kick it out with any pawns. This knight's very strong, just taking control of all these squares around my king. But I play d3, he checks my knight, mistake. While I, in my head, I remember this game a few weeks ago, I thought he was going to give this check, and I was just like, I'll just run my king to f1, and I'll be chilling, which is exactly what I did. And right here, you'll see the game-winning move. Actually, I, taking a look at the eval bar just before I say anything, this game, I played the Bong Cloud, and slowly but surely, I've just built up a nice lead. But yeah, you'll see here, Knight E3 is a big blunder. I don't know what he thought he was doing. While we were playing this, I, I said, uh, bro thinks he has a fork. Obviously, trying to joke at him. But it was just a complete blunder. Uh, here, if I was playing this game, I obviously would have taken back with my bishop. But I have a hard time seeing the diagonals in my head of the pieces. So I just took back with the pawn. I didn't even realize my bishop was there. But yeah, you'll see the eval drop a little bit. Take, definitely taking with the bishop was a lot better. Because uh, like doubling the pawns is just for no reason. But still, taking the free knight doesn't really matter. King e2, bond clouding, again, was the best move here. What did he play? Bishop b7. I didn't even announce that move. But yeah, bishop d2. King e2 is best here. But um, yeah, bishop d2 instead. He castles. 
Uh, I want it. I obviously want. Wish I could castle, but I play king g2 uh, in mind of bringing my rook out and bringing my king back down manually castling. Uh, he plays bishop e. Well, I'm sure up in bishop c6, and I block. Well, I don't block anything, but I just try and break open the center, trade off some pawns, attack his bishop with my knight. That's what I do. Okay, he plays bishop h4. I probably, while I was playing this, I thought it was attacking my queen. I probably had to double check in my head, but it was not. I, mm, what move would I play here? Uh, I maybe take the bishop or do something with the queen. Maybe move it here. That's not even that good of a move, though. I just take the bishop here, but I decide not to. I play key, queen e2. Um, he played uh, bishop d7, which is actually the best move. Rook d1 with the idea of, of bringing the rooks on the d and e files where they're probably most active but i should have maybe brought it uh to rook f1 because it's just an open file but uh yeah obviously trying to bring my king down he plays bishop f6 i play knight knight f3 and okay here he takes my knight and i capture back okay i think here is the part of the game where i convinced um him that he's just lost because he's down a knight so I actually convinced him to resign, I think, here. Yeah, he resigned here. Uh, after I played e5, he resigned. Uh, but my other friend, Andrew, who is a much stronger player around on my level, uh, he actually took over the game. But technically speaking, I did beat him because he was down a knight and he didn't want to play anymore. He was kind of bored. So he decided to resign the game, which is I, I probably would have lost on the end game, trying to keep track of it in my head. If he would have played it out, but he he decided not to, so I won against the 100 rated player blindfolded. But then a much stronger player uh, took over after this move, and everything afterwards. I've already won the game against Nicholas, which is good. But this is just a challenge to see how good I can do blindfolded. I obviously knew I'd lose at this point, but I already defeated him, so I didn't really care. Okay, queen e1, good. He takes. I take back queen queen d5. I thought this was a fork, but I didn't realize I could block, but I thought about it a little bit. I did block. Um, bishop c6, lining up a checkmate threat, because if I play a random move like this, he takes, go here, and checkmate. And I actually played bishop c1, and that's exactly what happened. I take king g1, and queen g2 is mate. So in like four moves of uh, my friend Andrew taking over this game, I get checkmated. But that's just how it happens. Uh, wasn't too sure. You know, I'm still happy that I beat Nicholas. Um, yeah, there's... Yeah, that wasn't my best performance. I definitely... Bishop C1. I should have saw that they were attacking my knight. But if you guys want me to play another blindfold game, um, I'd be happy to. Uh, just next time I'm at playing over the board, I'll whip out the blindfold and I'll play a blindfold match. And hopefully put it on this channel. But yeah, that's all that I have for today. Um, I'm going to be uploading another video shortly. I have, I think, two videos in mind. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>